Welcome back to the Screamies, everybody. So, today we'll be playing a game called, uh, Don't Knock Twice. Which, uh, for some reason I think I own on... Switch, PS4, and PC, which I don't know why. I imagine just because it's always on sale, which... You know... I want to say that's a bad sign, like, uh fucking mind's eye but uh the into the darkness was also super cheap and uh that was a great fucking horror game so maybe 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 we'll have a good time here maybe not i'm just saying if i knock twice and nothing spooky happens i'll be real upset i tell you what so uh yeah let's switch over here <laughs> fucking whoa either it's bad or the devs are just good people I mean either or basically it can't be in the middle it has to be one or the other so you know we'll, we'll see in a fucking second and clearly we are not going to be playing on VR we are playing on the PS4 version because I'm a filthy console pleb but, uh, we'll deal with that later. I mean, it looks nice! You ever play any Opus games? Uh, fucking where's my phone? What's, uh, what's an Opus game? Opus games. Opus games. Oh, those anime games? No, I have not. I've, I've seen them. I've not played anything with any of them. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Or maybe there's just one? All these screenshots look like completely different games. If I'm being honest. Opus, the day we found Earth. Opus, Rocket of... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, there there are a bunch. There are a bunch. Only three? I don't know. I don't know, it, like, it, it's... There's a bunch of anime games that I intend to eventually play, but... I, I never do. Like, all those fucking Sakura ones. For reasons. Reasons. Uh... Ba -ba -ba. I don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, uh, I, I apparently we can beat this game in like 50 minutes to an hour. I did say we were maybe going to play another game afterwards, but probably not, because I'm a sleepy boy. So we'll just do this one today and that'll be it. So hopefully it's a good one! Oh no, don't knock twice! No! I gotta say, the uh, the loading screen here... Not really spooky. It, it, it more or less just makes me feel like I'm playing like a, a god of war or a, a devil may cry. I don't know, I just finished Rocket of Whispers and I thought it was good. Have you uh, played Steins Gate? You should, you should play Steins Gate. Or watch Steins Gate. Preferably play Steins Gate. It is uh, the peak of the visual novel. Yeah, no, the, this loading screen is just like, okay, well, gonna go play, uh, fucking Heavenly Sword. Dante's Inferno. This is not spooky loading screen. This is, this is action, uh, beat em up in hell. So far, pretty, pretty low on the spooks. Fucking Christ. Can't imagine what this would be like on the Switch. Oh man, we're just right in there, huh? What? What? I, I do gotta fucking turn this up. Holy shit. Uh, sensitivity up. 
Up, up, up. Which Steins Gate is it? Just the normal Steins Gate. Steins Gate Zero is uh, a sequel, I guess? J just normal Steins Gate. You know what? Steins Gate Elite will also work because it's basically just Steins Gate, but with uh, the anime for uh, the graphics. But just normal Steins Gate. Oh, okay, well, I'm, I am a ghost. I am a, I am a ghost. I swear to God, if this says don't knock twice. Get. What? Leave me the fuck alone, says Chloe. Well, I'm sorry, Chloe, but you did knock twice. I don't like how slow I move. Pick up the candlestick to illuminate your way. Okay, add it to Steam wishlist because I'm a filthy PC gamer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is. Alright, let's light this bad boy. How do I... Oh, I have a crouch button. Relight my fire! Oh. Somebody's knocking on the window. Hello? Oh. Well, that was flaccid. Alright, well. I, like, I was, wasn't even really looking at it, but even if I was, I don't think I would have been, uh, spooked by it. <gasps> They're in the house. They didn't even knock! Not even once! Hold on. I need to, uh, fucking change this. Toggle crouch on. Toggle run on. I don't know why those are off. You know it's not fun holding down... Oh, yeah, it is. It's always L3 that's run. It's not fun to hold that down. Emily wants to play. Fucking showed us that. Ooh, I'm too scared. I'm too scared. All right. Fortunately, we're not really lighting up. Change controls? Oh, I went to a, a mouse and keyboard? You know what? We could, uh... Turn this one off and go play the Switch version and see see how that looks. Grab the laptop. Oh wait, I can I can. Oh hey, I you know what I like games where I can uh, grab and move things freely. Except this one's not working too well. I'm pushing up and it's closing the laptop, and I'm pushing down and it's opening slash closing the laptop. Okay, well. Okay, fucking so... You can see the reflection of the room. Now I run to, uh... I want to see. Uh, I might need L1. I don't know. Apparently all I can do is toggle. That's all, that's all I be. Uh... Yeah, so you can see the reflection of the room, you can see the reflection of the candle, but you can't see the reflection of me, so... I am a ghost. Or a vampire. Or one of these delightful chaps. Alright, well... Oh, you know, I'm just... I'm just delaying the inevitable because I was so spooked. Oh, I could pick up everything! And I can throw them. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, well. I, you know what? I wasn't expecting that to break. I wasn't expecting it to get stuck in the wall either. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a minute. One of these lamps is fake. Uh. 
Focus. Focus. Ooh, there's scary music. Sorry, I'm just... I've been so scared, I, I, I don't want to leave the room. I've just been so spooked. That I have to break all of my stuff. It's drugs. No, that won't... Okay, well... Rip. It's a letter from my daughter. Oh, it's bills. It's always bills. I, I can't pick up the box. Ooh. Matro hey, what? Okay, matricide, all right. I tell you, oh man, super spooked. Maybe I can pick something up and throw it out the window. You know, I can break the window too. It's not that hard. What is this? Focus. Situated in the southern edge of the Welsh Valleys lies a stunning example of understated architecture. You know what, for some reason my brain was like, no, that says understanded. It took its style from the late 1700s. At its core is a medieval rectangular tower and an inner courtyard which connects the unusual layout of the building, consisting of an entrance hall, drawing room, kitchen slash breakfast room, and a games room. Spooky noises. Attached to the rear of the house is a restored chapel which is currently being used as an art studio. The house is a grade two listed building and recently underwent a comprehensive renovation by the new owners. There's a lot of noises going on behind me. Oh, well, don't need that anymore. Damn it. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. There we go. Perfect. All right. Spook me. Oh, we have to push and pull doors. Perfect. Hello. What do you fucking want? I'm glad I have to put my candle away to read these. Why did you turn the power off? I hate you. Yeah, that was me. All this fucking... Copper floating in the air. There's more bills. Focus. It's a book. I would appreciate a flashlight or something that I can maybe see better. Well, let's go around first before we try to get in there. Even if there are spooky noises coming from there. Oh, good. You know what? I didn't even consider that I could light under other candles. I'll just go ahead and do that. Not that they're lighting everything up particularly well. Alright, what do we got here? Chloe's Diary, October 10th, 2016. She dumped me all those years ago, and now she just waltzes back into my life and expects me to just carry on like everything's okay. Well, it's not. 
I just wish she left me the fuck alone. She's trying to wow me with her fancy job and her big new house. But there's no hiding the truth she abandoned me and I can't stop hating her for that. We're strangers now. She's not fit to be a mother and she'll probably just send me back to the home once she's tired of me. Okay, well, bruh. Oh, a little smiley face. Some nice leather jackets. You know what? I miss having a leather jacket. It was my identity for a while. That fucking weirdo who wears leather jackets all the time. Wears them so much that they wear out. Because I'm a cool dude. Why can't I... Oh, it's locked? I can't tell if that's the sound of rain or somebody's taking a shower. I imagine it's the, uh, the rain part. We also know that something was outside the house. Vandalizing. Everything. So, you know, if we hear- if we hear two knocks... Just, uh, don't let them in. Clearly. That's how this works, right? I mean, when I was a child, I remember there was, uh... Where's that coming from? That's more than two knocks! Uh, the story behind award-winning artist and sculptor Jessica Webb Thomas. Inspiration can come from anywhere, from anything. Mine is driven by my relationship to this world and what I feel connected to. Since I was nine years old, I knew I wanted to be an artist. I was always playing with clay, but it wasn't until my teens that I found I had a true talent for sculpting. And I still love it to this day. I'm fascinated by the bonds we make as humans. The stronger bond is between a mother and her baby. Cool. Fucking what was I saying? Oh yeah, there was this uh, fucking urban legend when I was a kid. A creepy pasta. I don't know what the word would be. Spooky ghost story where uh, there was a witch with long nails, and if she scritchy scratched on your window, it was a bad sign. You were going to die because she has long nails. <laughs> I don't exactly know what the threat was. It's coming from in here. Yeah, it is. Don't like it. Not one bit. Any candles? Oh my god! It's the scritchy scratch! I, I can't even remember what the fuck the name was. Hold on, I'm gonna look this up. What, is this real? Is this a real thing? Uh, scritchy scratch window witch. The witch in the window. Scritch scratch. R Robbles. No, it's not real. I'm sure there's a creepypasta made these days, but it was just some fucking stupid kid, I'm sure, sure made it up. Uh, Department of Health and Social Services, uh, temporary custody- okay, we lost our child. Dear Mr. Jessica Webb Thomas, please accept this letter as a form of agreement regarding Chloe and Webb. In the light of evidence provided with the consent of Chloe, we are happy to inform you that we were able to arrange a trial custody period with your daughter. Once a staging period has been agreed, we will send you a final letter of confirmation. Yours sincerely, Julia Andrews. Child welfare. Uh, Scritchy Scratch, is that you? Are you outside? No candle over here? Scritchy Scratch, are you out there? What the fuck? 
You know what? I wasn't expecting a, a fucking Resident Evil courtyard. So you know what? We'll go out there in a second. Let me explore the rest of the house first. Okay, that's locked. Is this locked? Everything's locked. Shit's locked, the game. Did I not like... Like those? I know that electricity... Like, electricity is a thing! Why would we be so prepared with candles all over the house? Is a regular thing we have to deal with? Locked. Alright, well I guess we gotta go outside. Cool. Scritchy Scratch, are you out here? These candles don't even do anything. It's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna go out in the rain with my candle against my better judgment. Like it, like a good, sane, rational person would do. Motherfucker, you're gonna pay for my window! Oh no, the door closed behind me and it's probably locked. Oh no! Yep. You're going to dump me again, aren't you? You selfish bitch! Wait. Is this a, a girl love story? A girl's love? I'm a lady with my girlfriend. We had a child somehow. We're fighting over custody. Oh, hey, we can light these ones. Alright, well, let's just go about lighting all these. So we can make sure to get our, uh, fucking amazing... I don't even know, is there goddamn platinum for this game? It's fucking that's bright. There is! And it's super easy to get, apparently. Wow. 12% of players platinum the game. The fuck is this? Rat poison? Bird seeds. Ah, same thing. Oh, that's that's neat. Look, I can I can pour bird feed. That's cool. I can just make a trail of to Pensa bag. I can I can just soak up all the uh, water outside with these fucking breadcrumbs. Also, I'm stuck. Bruh. No more birds. Probably progress, I don't know. I can hear birds! Does that mean there's a bird over here? Eating the food? Hey little bird friend, how you doing? Oh! Oh no! Oh what, no! No, that, that wasn't my fault! No! Oh god! I didn't know it would happen! Oh god! How do I put the candle away? I can't! No! It wasn't my fault, I swear! The game made me do it! Okay, that's also locked. God damn it. God fucking damn it. It was just a friendly little bird who wanted to hang out. Is this also locked? Really? So what are my options here? I keep getting stuck on shit. That's also locked. Okay, well, let's go back inside, I guess.
fuck do you want from me, game? It's fucking okay. Am I missing something? Probably. Takes most players an hour to beat the game, huh? Do they also have problems like this? Do these houses- do these medieval houses just also have a goddamn basketball- basketball hoop just hanging about? Swish! Okay, well, game doesn't want me to pick that up anymore. But that would mean that- oh. There's a goddamn basketball out here, right? Look for the basketball. If there's a hoop, there's gotta be a basketball. Just hanging out. What kind of weirdo has a goddamn basketball hoop but no basketball? Can't even pick up the bird. Okay, well I can't do anything with the phone. Like, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to knock twice or something? Oh, I was supposed to look at the cre the creepy lady in the window. Oh, that wasn't fucking well explained. So she says I can't really see all that well. Does that mean she's coming? Oh, it means the gate's open now. Great. Oh, and it opens both. Okay, I'm not even going to bother with that. Wait. Well, this is nothing. Problem is, I can't see a lot. Okay, so that was just a loop, I guess. Close that. Nobody needs to know. Come on, man. You know how much I paid for this shit? I could have been buying comic books or video games. I could have been buying a fucking PS5. Yes? Oh, okay. I'll just light that, then that. I said I've been wasting my life buying a fucking... ...paintings that people are just casually throwing about. It's fucking fantastic. You know what the worst part is? I don't even think there's... ...goddamn light switches anywhere. So it's like, this place has power, apparently, but there's no way to turn it on. You can't fool me, video game. I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Oh, spooky. Any more candles. Oh. So where does this go? Nowhere? It's just a nice puddle of blood. Just hanging out. Alright. Cool. 
Hmm. Fantastic. I do think this game would have been better had there been no music at all anyway. Oh, good. Which door was that? Was it this door? This one we've already been through? I don't think it was. I think it was this one back here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is open now. So we can go up to the second floor where we saw the spooky lady. But I heard one of these doors open, so I gotta go check this one. Of course not. Great. It's just a random door opening sound effect. It doesn't mean anything. I'm going to be real upset when we come back through these hallways and they just blow out all my candles again. For no reason. Just to fucking piss me off. Wait, does that mean all the candles outside blew out? That'd be some pretty dumb bullshit if that was the case. Well, I'm not allowed outside anyway, so... All right. I'm trusting you, video game. Oh, yeah, that's a good sign. Again, I can't fucking see anything. Larry? I don't know. What the fuck was... Wait a second. What was his name? Lester? Lester the Molester? Oh. Well, that wasn't my intention. The, the little fucking slappy doll? Another child goes missing. Oh. Local boy is one of many children to go missing in re re recent weeks. He's last seen playing knock knock run with his friends. Oh, that's his problem. He fucking knocked twice. How many times do we have to tell these kids don't knock twice? Knock once, sure. Knock three times, sure. But fucking twice. He was asking for trouble. Now NVIDIA wants an update. Fuck off, NVIDIA. Can, can I play the piano? Can I play Moonlight Sonata? Yamahai. Okay, well, apparently not. Oh, uh, apparently at some point we will have to. There's a goddamn lock on there. We're gonna find a key. Can't even touch these doors. You know, if I was making a spooky horror game, I would uh, actively fuck with the player if they were just wandering around, wasting time. Kind of like Visage did, where we would lose sanity and then shit would start to go crazy over time. Alright. Alright, lady. What are you doing here? Honestly, I can't even say if you live here or not. Where? Right here? Yeah? Do we get to do this again? Do it. Oh my god! Again! I can't believe she got me again! Oh man! The, the same exact fucking animation! Like, oh man, it happened the first time, and then when I heard the knocking, I was like, Oh, don't do it again! I couldn't stand it the first time if you do it again! Shame on me! Uh, dissolve the tablet in at least 300 milliliters of water, orange juice, and other citrus... 
Okay, well. I think I'm going to need this. The ghost might. Spooky uh, witch lady. The witch. Again, another mirror. Which I don't even know if it's... Is it properly reflecting? He's walking around. No, it's not. Because that's, uh, that's a flat wall right here. So I don't know if that means that this is fake. Or if that's fake, but this is all fake. That, or this is just a painting of this hallway. Because I'm a weird fucking family man, I guess. A family guy. I've seen weirder. Just look at the goddamn Spencer Mansion. Alright, well. Oh, 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 wait. No, okay. I really wish I could fucking see. Is there something behind me? Oh. Another missing child. Uh, nine-year-old boy, date missing, last seen wearing... Ouch. Really annoying sound. Could you stop doing that, please? Is that a young Norman Reedus? Huh. You know, for as many goddamn... Oh. Wait. No, this... Th th wait, no, this doesn't make any sense! Oh. Ooh! Ooh, that's uh, that's actually pretty good. I like this. But then it it immediately goes away when uh, I look. It's like no, there's there's no way this this mirror should be able to see this hallway. What if I just step through the mirror? Wonder if how many people even fucking saw that. Which, uh, door was that? Was it this one? Hello? I'm coming in. Are we gonna do another knock-knock on the window? Any more candles? The fuck was that? I mean, I, I closed that door. Shouldn't have been a big spook. You're like, oh god, the door closed. Yeah, I mean, yes, I closed it. I wanted it closed. Blech. I'm starting to wonder if I'll even run into anything spooky. Confessions of a teenager. Oh, did I read all of her diaries? I had a dream last night after I was messing around with that ritual shit I found. Wasn't exactly a dream, more like I was reliving a memory. The scariest door appeared in front of me. It had a goat head on it, which really creeped me out. The missing children, the ones from the news, were waiting just outside the door, and I'm shouting, DON'T KNOCK THE DOOR! Two loud bangs, and I wake up in a puddle of sweat. I know it was just a dream, and the baby... The Baba Yaga is nonsense. But it all felt so real. Oh, God. So that's what we're dealing with? We're dealing with the, the Baba, Baba Yaga? The, the Swamp Witch or whatever? Gonna get a goddamn hatchet to the side of my head? I, I can't even tell which doors are opening anymore. I was a drug addict. I hate those words, but it's the truth. When I was really bad, I figured you were safer with someone else 
looking after you. I tried to get you back sooner. I really did. But they wouldn't let me. They said I wasn't ready, but I'm ready now. I love you, Chloe. Ooh. Wait. Oh. I was about to say, did I just fucking throw that out the window? Also, wait. Is this the window that we saw the Baba Yaga in? Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Oh. The book I threw. Bruh. Pass. Jess and Chloe. What the fuck? What are all these goddamn trophies for? I'm not doing anything. Are you out there too? All right. Oh, it was this door. Baba Yaga, are you in here? What's my train of thought I was thinking before? Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. What the fuck is going on? Is someone else here? I mean, I don't even know where you are, Chloe. She was just kind of breathing in my ear. I don't like it. It was unfortunate, because as soon as the breathing started, I, I could hear the... the beginning of the sound file. Because I'm a nitpicker. So I immediately knew, ooh, some spooky noises are about to happen. I mean, is Chloe in here somewhere? Again, the, uh... The no light switches. Oh, no. Is that... Okay. The, the door just closed with no animation. That's fine. Uh... Oh, I could have sworn that was a door. I don't know if I'm actually going to run into anything, because the fact that I can throw shit would probably break something. Is that the, uh, the door with the, the goat head on it? Excuse me? What does that say? She's mine. She's mine, Spider-Man. Okay. I mean... Oh, it, apparently I'm just going crazy. Oh, yeah, the classic spooky photo picture at the end of the hallway always gets people when they turn that corner. Ooh. What the fuck? Is goddamn Bowser behind this door? Uh, Jess's diary. I wish Ben was here. It's not the same when he's away. He's been my rock through all of this and so supportive of Chloe's custody case. He's ready when he said you... He's right when he said you can't change the past and what matters is that I'm trying to do the right thing now. The scariest thing about having a child, it's not the pain or the sleepless nights. It's the love, and nobody prepares you for that. I loved Chloe when she was born, when I was high, when I gave her up, even when I was a thousand miles away and I love her now. She's mine, and I'll never let anybody take her from me again. Alright, so is it is it the Baba Yaga, or is it just a uh, fucking spooky Jess on another one of her benders? Let's go open this door. This is the one that... Oh, it's not a door! Oh, that's the spookiest part! We saw the door with the goat head or the lion head on it. And then it disappeared. Ooh. She's got fucking... Trans-dimensional powers. 
We're not dealing with the Baba Yaga. We're dealing with fucking Bluno. Oh. Well, I, I, I now understand why she is here. Is that somebody right there? Chloe, is that you? Jill, is that you? I hope this isn't Chris's blood. Oh, hey. Eh. That just makes me wonder how many of those I've missed if they're that teeny tiny. Alright. This house doesn't really make sense. Chloe. Why do we rely so much on candles when we have power? And why, if we have power, do we not have any light switches? Ooh, that's a nice reflection. Not really. Yeah. Because the, the lamp is flat. I'm wondering if this is a console thing. Or if it just always looks like this. Or maybe this is just a flat lamp. Oh, no, you're still there. Alright, well, give me a sec. Things to do, you know. This went so well last time. Though I'm not sure where I'm supposed to, uh... Dump this. Oh. Yeah, give me a sec. I'm just feeding the birds. The burbs. I can't even figure out where I'm supposed to do this. In the pizza? This is a lot of pizza. It's the scariest thing so far. It's not delivery. It's not delivery. Uh, oh, okay. I was I was really hoping that any window I look through they would just smash. Ooh, another door. Okay. Can I, uh, can I make it a pizza? It's really weird that we have uh, a microwave for making pizza in the goddamn, uh, cathedral room, I guess? Okay, we got a rice cooker. Hmm. All right, well. Hey, lady, it's pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. All right. Uh, what do we got over here? Oh, was I supposed to? Hold on here. Where did I leave the, uh, the bird feed? Oh, wait, I threw it at the lady. Here, no, don't mind me. I'm just here for the bird feed. Fuck. Am I supposed to put it on here? No. Bruh. Fucking. There we go. Focus! Sapphire Art Award winner 2016. Water from the well to cleanse the souls of the innocent she devours. Is that a person or is it a fucking statue? Hey lady, pizza time. Pizza time. You're not real. 
You're not real. This pizza isn't even real. All right, hold on here. Let me just let me just improve this piece of art. She's not holding the baby. She's holding the pizza. The bobbity boopy. Okay, well, much like the uh, the love of a mother and a child, you can't, you cannot, you cannot put a pizza between a mom and a and a and a, and a, a child, a baby. Do you want the pizza? Pizza time. All right. Really concerned that there might be a balcony and somebody might spit off of it. Candles? Candle? Oh. It's the water from the well. I, I, can't, I can't get it. I just I just can't get it. <laughs> Oh, this is a weird one. Perfect. Oh, are you gonna turn around? Are you gonna be facing me when I grab that? How spooky. How spooky. This is your- this is my life? Jess's Diary, October 11th, 2016. It's been so tough the past few days. Chloe hates me and I don't blame her. Trying to make it up to her. Trying to make her see that I'm not the same person who was unfit to look after her all those years ago. Letting them take her away from me was the hardest decision I could ever make. But it was the right one. I needed help. Sometimes even now, when I can't sleep, I ache for another fix. Thank God I have my work to distract me. I spent hours last night in the studio working on my latest sculpture. I'm still not totally happy with the concept, but it's slowly getting there. I just wish the same could be said about my relationship with Chloe. Bleh. Pizza time. Alright, I'm just gonna... Take a swig of that. I don't, what the fuck? What? The fuck? Water. Am I missing something? I'm hearing a lot of sounds. I, I scooped the water out with the glass. Oh, do I put the baby in there? Oh, the baby's gone. The baby's gone. But you know what's not gone? Pizza. All right, hold on. You know what's better than a baby? Nice, delicious pizza. Or not. Is there still water in there? Just take the fucking pizza. All right, I'll fucking... We gotta find the baby, I guess. But I need to fix this. Pizza time. Oh, here's the glass. Hold on. Oh. It's a, it's a, it's a ghost glass. What now? Why are you doing this to me? I wish you were dead! <laughs> what the fuck? Was it because I was looking down? The baby wanted the pizza! So I swatted it away! Couldn't really see what was even happening. Because it's so fucking dark! It wasn't the pizza's fault, don't blame the pizza. Oh no. Is that a baby? 
Is that a little baby? No. A, a microscopic baby? Fucking what? Oh, we got a flamethrower now. That's probably not good. Hold on. What does it say? Uh, we're gonna have to burn the lady, I guess. have infinite of this or what? Ah, uh, spook. Who built this fucking contraption? Oh, hey. And how am I still picking stuff up and throwing them? Hold on, pizza time. Oh. Apparently I am uh, out of flamethrower. Which I didn't know was a thing. So hopefully we don't need that. Well, we still got a pizza. Still got a pizza pasta. Is that an actual head? No, only pizza. Only pizza. Only pizza. Only, only, only pizza. Only pizza. Get out of here. Only pizza. Yes. Yes. Okay, well. It's a shame that I wasted the, uh... Oh, I, I just put it down, apparently. Alright. Pineapple does go on the pizza. I I am one of those fucking freaks. I will absolutely put the pineapple on the pizza. Hey, let's cook the pizza, actually. Perfect. Oh, you know what? I looked at that and I thought that was a tunnel. It's just a goddamn reflection on the floor. Oh, did I run out of juice? I ran out of juice. Alright, well you know what that means! Pizza time. Shut up, the pizza is my coping mechanism! Because this game is just so gosh darn scary! Okay, we're back outside. I don't even know which way we're going. Pizza time! another spooky lady in the window oh there you are oh my god no my child it's because I wouldn't share the pizza Fucking get this out of here Oh, they did. They absolutely did blow out all the candles out here. It's still locked. Just fucking, I'm clipping on everything. Just gotta light all these real quick. All right. Back in we go. Let me just close this. Just give me a second, Baba Yaga. Or Jesse. 
whatever we're dealing with. I'm really fucking scared. It's come for me. This is all my fault. I mean, were you the one who drew the goddamn pentagram? In the cathedral room? Because, yeah, that would be your fault. Uh, uh, so we have outlets! We have fucking outlets! But we don't have any switches in the house to turn on the lights! How does it make any fucking sense? Chloe? Chloe, are you in here? Have you found any light switches? Oh, well, the music stopped. That's a good sign. I'm sorry, please help. I didn't mean what I said. Yeah, well. Usually they uh, turn the music off to... to prepare you for a giant jump scare. Make it even louder and spookier. Also, we've re we've walked by a few of these. I'm not gonna have to remember where those are, am I? There's the basketball. Okay. Swoop. There it is. It's fucking. It was me. I didn't knock twice, I knocked a thousand times! Open the door, I found the basketball, please! Oh, fucking alright. I'll deal with whatever's going on in here. And then I'll get my fucking game on. Mer I'm getting a lot of trophies for no reason. Ben Thomas on behalf of Jessica Webb Thomas, to whom it may concern. I have known Jess for over five years now and have been lovingly married for the last three. It is with great honor and privilege that I write this character reference for my wife. She is my soulmate and a passionate, loving, and caring woman. She was a shoulder to cry on my voice of reason and I would be proud for her to be the mother of my child. I believe that depriving Chloe from Jess is depriving everything that she has to offer and the chance for her to make amends. We know mistakes were made a long time ago and I truly believe that Jess will do anything to assure Chloe is safe, happy, and loved. She has turned her life around to become a success and I truly believe she deserves a second chance to be with her daughter. Sincerely, Ben Thomas. Uncle Ben. It all comes back to pizza time. Ooh, I don't know. No, okay. I don't even know how... Th it was like clipping in there. I don't understand how that worked. You're... Mine. You spelled your wrong! You are... Uh, you know what? You are mine. You know what? That's, that's proper. That works. At first the grammar scared me, but... Uh, and I realized it was correct. Back. Fire to cook her cold, dead heart. Where? Uh, what? Spirit gemstone, amethyst, water gemstone, sapphire, ruby, emeralds. Spirit, water, fire, earth, and air. Okay, we're summoning uh, Captain Planet. He will fight the Baba Yaga. Bruh. Hopefully I don't need to, to remember those. Can I open this door now? No? Alright, we'll remember that the basketball is here. Is this something I can do? That is something I can do. Alright, hold on. 
kitchen and uh, okay. Fucking out of here. Resident Evil, this is not. Wait, can I just take a stick and just like no, I cannot, so best we can do is just cheat. When in doubt, just cheat. Just take all the balls on the table, whatever whatever's happening with Chloe's whatever. Get the shit out of here. Nobody plays billiards with a fucking... Yes, yes, I know, Spooky Baba Yaga, I'm busy. Putting my balls in the hole. Very important. It's probably not even a goddamn trophy. Pot black, baby. I knew it. I didn't even put all the goddamn balls in the holes. Baba Yaga is just watching me through the, the crack in the door, being like, what the fuck? That's not how you play billiards! I don't know how the fucking Baba Yaga would talk. It's fine. Again, I'm fairly certain it's just Jess. There. Did I win? Oh, boo. What the fuck is this sound? Ooh. Can I throw the darts? I can! Alright! Fucking game room, baby! Bullshit. Well, now I have a, a goddamn weapon against the Baba Yaga. Throw a goddamn dart in her eye. Bruh. Oh, that's bullshit! It's stuck in the goddamn wall, but it's not gonna stick in the, uh... The dartboard? Also, this one's stuck in the couch. There we go. The fucking all right. It's gonna stick literally everywhere except the dartboard. How about I cheat? How about I just cheat by doing it this way? I just cheat. No, they don't like that. They don't let me cheat. The 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 fair practiced sport of bill of uh, darts. Time honored tradition. Okay, I I don't even know if this is fucking possible. Considering they stick everywhere except for the goddamn dartboard.
Fucking, all right, you know what, fuck off. The game's rigged, it's not my fault. So I keep hearing the sound of, like... Are these? Are you making that sound? Is it the balls? Because otherwise I hear that sound and I think, oh, Billy's! Billy's outside! Billy's right next to the room. Clearly. Fucking SCP whatever. Just grinding his way through. Just bumping and or grinding. Alright. Oh, so spooky. Except for the fucking... The sound quality on, uh... The Baba Yaga here. Every time she's about to speak, you can hear her microphone. What's happening to me? In the kitchen, the doll, it burns! Uh, fucking, I don't remember where the kitchen is. It's probably over here. This is the only room we haven't been in yet. Oh no, we were in here. Did they change the picture to be spooky? What the fuck? Alright, well. Did they spookify? Did they, did they, did they, did they spookify? Yeah, they did, alright. Oh, but you know what? Hold on. We got out of that room, we got out of the game room. Well, they spookified that one too. We got out of the game room! Now it really is time for us to be ballin'. He'll never be ballin', they said. Well, joke's on you. I goddamn told them. I goddamn told them. My dribbling game was, was nuts. Except I can't get outside, so... I'll just leave you right there for now. I will be back for you. Fucking somebody got spooked out of their boots here. Alright, so I imagine the, the kitchen has to be over here. Okay. Hey, look at me and my big brain. Is that the, the aforementioned doll? Oh. Oh, that's just... That's just fucking excessive. What else have we got in here? That's a lot of ice. Could have just locked the door like a normal person. You didn't have to throw the goddamn fridge down on top of it. You can use the axe to open locked doors by chopping the handles off? The axe? The axe. Uh, there was a young woman bullied and teased by all the other people in her village. She was always alone and longed to be a mother and have a child to love and care for. As she grew older, she became more and more of a recluse. Children used to prank her, knowing she yearned for a child and would knock on her front door and run away. It is said that this is what drove her insane. In her insanity, she made a deal with a demon, that demon being the Baba Yaga. A deal was made to grant the woman a wish, a child. In doing so, she had to sever, to serve the Baba Yaga by making sacrifices to her. As the village children taunted her, she sort of, she sought revenge on them by putting a curse on her front door. By doing so, condemning the child who knocked her door to be the chosen sacrifice for the Baba Yaga. All right. I mean, completely justified. I'm on her side. I'm on her side, honestly.
Wait, grab what? Grab what? Grab what? Grab what? Grab nothing. Oh, well, here's another microwave and another goddamn slow cooker. My baby! My... My... Fucking... My baby! I can't open it! Alright. Maybe we need the axe to open it. Except I don't know where the axe is. My baby. Am I just missing something? Oh, the hatchet! I was looking for a giant fucking fire axe. Bruh. No, my baby! Well, that means we can get into every goddamn room of the house. Here's Johnny! Also, if a Baba Yaga shows up, flack. Schwa. Schwiggity, schwiggity, schwa. Jesus Christ. Can I just destroy the door? Oh, I, I super can! I can just Johnny. I can just Johnny the door. Alright. This is a weird game. Oh, that is exposed gas. Let me just swiggity swing my, my candle over this. Handle. After this whole goddamn hallway has been filled with gas. Oh. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh. My baby! Look what they done did to my baby! Okay. Kinda need my axe back, please. Fire. Can you, uh, maybe untip the fridge, please? Please? Alright. I'll go the long way. Maybe. Okay, well. You know what? Fair enough, that kind of got me. I was not expecting that. You're playing it wrong! Okay. Alright. Uh... The right note is the key to find the spirit of the servant. Happy times. So if I just... Can I... I can! Alright! Hopefully they don't intend for me to play the actual fucking piano here. That wasn't so hard. Cha, 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 cha. Nobody's gonna lock any doors now. Oh. This sliding door just kind of slapped my ass, I guess.
that this is a teeny tiny axe. Holy shit. There's an axe for ants. Ridiculous. I was gonna say, did we finally turn the, the power back on to the whole place? Swing. The boogeyman, he's coming to get ya. Mother Russia. They weren't expecting me to release all the goddamn farts from the, uh... Triska dolls or whatever the fuck they're called. Alright, up we go. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, apparently I can't cut through the, uh... The spooky cobwebs. It's another one of those artifacts. Ah, oh, spooky spider! Uh, fucking. Fucking axe. My hatchet. It's the only way to beat a Baba Yaga. To throw it from halfway across the map. Clearly. Except I keep dropping. <laughs> like a putz. Any more spooks? Any more spooks? No. Okay. Oh, there's another hatchet! Because they knew I probably would have lost my first one. Cool. Is this insinuating that we need to burn the Baba Yaga? Way ahead of you. There's a fucking TV in here! This place has power, but that has no goddamn light switches! How does this shit work? Oh god, uh... God damn it. Bruh. 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 Another hatchet? How many fucking hatchets are in here? We got one. We got two. The fucking Baba Yaga is here! She's been chucking, uh, hatchets! The whole time she has those add-ons, they give her extra ones. It's crazy. Alright, well. Can I get out? I don't know what the combination to this would be. Do I look out the spooky window? No. Maybe I just go back down, I guess. Or not. I don't fucking know. What do, what do you want from me, video game? Am I missing something? Is there a combination in the mirror? It's fucking... Yes.
This is my favorite channel. Except when it's not fucking doing anything. God damn it. Alright, fine. I didn't want to watch it anyway. Oh, you know what? Let's check the mirror. Maybe there'll be something spooky on the TV. Or not. Ha. Huh. Alright. Schwa. Oh, what am I? I'm fucking stupid. Schwa. Oh, we're back in this hallway. The one with the mirror that doesn't make sense. Yeah, still doesn't make sense. Wait a second. No. No, not at all. Alright. That does mean we can get into this room, doesn't it? Oh. I can get in here because they're just going to let me in. I see. Yeah, locking the doors doesn't really do anything now, does it? Do fucking putts except my goddamn candle went out. Oh. Schwa. Oh! Is this what I needed? What about, uh, what about... What about this? Also, two toilets! Really? You're shitting that much? That one toilet can't fucking... What the fuck is this reflection I'm looking at? This reflection is of... A giant bathtub. Or the bathtub is flat or something. What the fuck is this? Focus. Uh, back. Steam reveals the secret to error. Where? Well, gone forever. You know what? Throw some fucking soap in there, too. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Except I dropped my hatchet. Where'd my hatchet go? Did they really take my hatchet? Four, eight, six, two. Got it. But but where's my hatchet? Four, eight, six, two. All right. Well, we'll go grab another hatchet. Oh, there it is. Four eight six two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would be great if my candle would stop going out. I didn't even know that was a thing that it could do. It's fucking bruh. Four, four, eight, six, two,
Oh, was there a spooky hand that was supposed to grab me there? I kind of missed that. Or did I? Are you just hanging around? The wind! Focus! Alright, but I do realize that now that we can open doors and stuff. I can go start b-balling, baby! What do you want? Hurry, I can hear it! There's something in the basement! Alright. But first... Nobody's locking me out of anywhere now. <laughs> okay, so where did I leave the basketball? I left it over here, right? Yeah, I did. All right, hold on. Hurt your... Hurt your... Nothing's gonna stop my b-balling game now. Except that we gotta bring the basketball all the way over here. Where's this fucking noise coming from? Oh, this is probably the basement. That makes sense. So what was in, uh, what was in this? A duck. An, an evil duck. Where the fuck would I put this? So, a, a bird bath? Ian. Jesse. Or is this the basement? <laughs> yep. Yep, that's fine. Oh, this, this one's a, a little more hardy. Is that the whole reason I came in here? Is it you who's making these goddamn rock sounds? You motherfucker. Alright, well. I have no idea where I would put this duck. Alright, well, anyway. drop this where we can remember it like right here go get that fucking basketball baby swoop there it is yeah that's fine yeah yeah Swoosh! There it is! Well, that was worth it. Give me that hatchet. Swing. Uh, I know that there was another one of these locked things. Maybe if I, uh... Maybe if I... Reunite. Maybe there's another duck in the one upstairs, and if we reunite them, they'll kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Hmm. 
I'm also gonna just break all the door handles, cause fuck you, you're not locking me out anywhere. Nobody's ever gonna open a door ever again. I don't think it was in here. The book is still burning. Music's gone. Fucking great. Uh, or was it down here? I don't think it was. Alright, well, hold on. We'll head back upstairs anyway. Swoosh! There it is! Fucking... Where am I going? What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Chopping off... Oh, right. I can... Smash doors? Not really? Cutting off fucking door handles. With my goddamn EX. Like a weirdo. Alright, so was it up here? Yeah, it had to have been. Apparently there's something stinky going on in that bathroom. Oh, here it is. Oh. Okay, hold on. Letting out the ghost farts. Clearly. I don't know why the ghost was hiding them so hard. You gotta let them out. Oh, well now it's not spooky anymore if it's not hiding it. Is there another one in here? Like, I don't know, would I take the, the rubber duck to the bath? Yeah, I would take the rubber duck to the bathtub. It's for some good, clean fun. I understand now. Let's just finish exploring up here and then, uh... Go grab that duck and throw it in the, the filthy, filthy tub. Door? No. I'm not knocking. So what else do we even need for this? We got the, uh... Got the key, or the the fucking necklace. Got the chalice. Got the the little baby boy. And we got the ring. So I guess we're just missing one more. But really, we came back down here for pizza. Pizza time, baby. Can I knock these goddamn things off? I cannot. That's just locked forever. Alright. Cool. I don't even know why I tried. It's so nice of the Baba Yaga to just leave us alone to explore the house. Freely. What a kind old lady. I don't know why we're trying to exercise her at all. One second. Is there a goddamn door handle in here? It wasn't even a door. It's fucking my mistake. Come on. 
job up. Where am I going? What am I doing? So we need to bring the fucking rubber duck all the way up here, probably. Or throw it in the toilet, one of the two. Either or, you know. Rubber ducks, you know. They're into some weird shit. Uh, this is the game room. Yes, no, yes. All right, come with me. Where, where did it go? Oh no, the duck, the duck got out. Oh no. Where the fuck did the duck go? This is bullshit! Oh, right. I dropped him over here. Hello, friend. Are you ready for some nice, clean fun? Rubber duck. 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 Rubber duck. Rubber duck. Rubber duck. Duck. Ducky duck. Duck, 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 rubber duck, rubber duck, 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 duck. What are you doing? I don't think he was supposed to be in here. No, you don't like that? What about the turlet? Oh, no, he don't like that either. This is the shittiest rubber duck ever! There we go. Back in you go. Druck! Can't imagine where else this would go. Am I missing something? Hold on. I'm just gonna look this up. I'm just gonna cheat! Uh... Don't knock twice. Duck. Uh, ba -ba -ba. good sound I'm hearing. I'm pretty sure the duck is drowned, by the way. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, well, apparently the duck is for nothing. So you know what? In the toilet you go. Goodbye. No, no, get in there. Okay. Well, if you're gonna, if you're not gonna let me flush it, then don't give me the option to. Bullshit. All right. Let's proceed with the plot, I guess. Whatever the plot is, something, something, Baba Yaga. I'm fairly certain this is the basement. Oh boy, is it! You gonna jump scare me again? It's 
fucking, excuse me, pass down generation to generation, a tale, is there not a read thing for this? A tale has been told of a child that strayed too far from their mother in the forest. The child came across a house, the front door guarded by a horned goat. The goat leads the child inside never to return again. An old woman has been seen wandering the forest for lost children to lead them to the house. The story always changes, but the goat remains this constant. That's the Baba Yaga, all right. Just hide this behind the uh, the mirror, I guess. This reflection is ain't right. This reflection ain't right. Oh, good. Does that mean we're going to have power in the house again? Or was that just there to spook me? Schwa. Okay. Schwa. Schwa. All right. Well, that's fine. Oh, okay. Well, apparently we're not allowed to, uh... Walk past that. What am I doing? I'm lowering a bridge? Do I need this? We just fucking get rid of it, I guess. Uh oh. Well. Oh, wait. This isn't a puddle, it's a fucking chasm. I see now. Good thing for invisible walls, huh? Oh, is this the final thing in our puzzle? Teddy bear, goodbye. Down to the pit. Chloe playing the dress up with... With who? What? Uh, pull the stones to unearth her rotting flesh. Which, uh... Okay, well, our, our prompts are broken, because apparently we can read something that doesn't exist. You know what? For, for his... Oh. Okay. For as much shit as I gave Visage... Massage was good. I like massage. Massage was very scary. Is this the rotting flesh? This? This was the rotting flesh? Are you in there? Hold on, it'll it'll take me it'll take me a few seconds to rip these out. Eh? You have them all. You've got to come now. I think it's coming back for you. Oh, no. Is this hell? Sure. All right. Oh, you know what? It opens this way. My mistake. Uh, wait, is it faster to go this way? I don't remember.
So it was uh, second floor, end of the hallway, and then down the stairs, right? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, but this is also where we saw the, uh, the door. Is the door going to pop in now? No? All right. Nothing's, uh, really coming to stop us, is there? I don't think she's coming for us. Not at all. I think that was a lie. Swing. Grab. Grab. Is it a bad thing that I'm messing up the, uh... The fucking stuff all over the place? Do we need these? Oh. Now, I was told not to knock twice. All right. One. Two. Should have got my goddamn basketball knocked a thousand times. Okay, you know what? I don't think I want to be here. I don't have my axe. Mrs. Ya Baba, Baba Yaba, Barappa. As the years went by, the mother grew more protective of her child. Dead, okay. And feared that the Baba Yaga would one day come for her. If a sacrifice could not be made, then the Baba Yaga would devour the offspring of her servant. So to try to break the curse, the mother committed suicide in order to protect the child, hoping the demon would never cross over to this world again. However, it did not break the curse, but merely passed it on to her child condemning her offspring to bear the mark and become the demon's servant. Oh, hey, another flamethrower! Great! Kind of weird that we, we've run into three or four of these already. Somebody came fucking ready to fight. Oh, is, this, is that that's nothing? All right, my mistake. It's kind of reminding me of that uh, one section of the Blair Witch. Also, they gave me a run button for no real reason, didn't they? And a crouch button. Neither of which really did anything. Oh my god, Chloe, is that you? What happened? Who did this? Here, let me just let me just warm you up a bit. This is a bad idea. Yeah, what the fuck did I think was gonna happen? Also, I can't move, so I guess this is where we die. Ah, oh, Baba Yaga! Ah, oh, Baba Yaga! Oh, am I supposed to be running? Oh, yeah. You see, I spooked her away with my flamethrower. Ah! Oh, I panic farted. Ah! Oh. You bitch! Let me out. Let me out. Let me out, you son of a bitch! Kill her! Alright. 
Fucking, oh man, we are running in like fucking 20p here. Fucking four frames a second. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. Did I did I hit her? Did I get her? Oh. You're mine. The servant's curse. No. Wales Inter. I've never heard of this company before. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Based on the work of Mark Huckerby. So post credits? Anything? No? No? What the fuck was left to platinum this game then? What the fuck did I miss? Burn the whale. Oh. Uh, complete the ending with res complete the ending with restraint. Oh, so just don't kill her. Destroy all the Russian dolls. Complete the game without lighting any wall candles. Well, that seems really easy, actually. Actually, no, it doesn't because. Uh, we just always have our goddamn uh, candle out. So, like, even when we burned that uh, bird by mistake. Where was it? Uh, cook the crow? Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Oopsie doodles. Oopsie doodles. So, yeah, that was. Uh, that was Don't Knock Twice. It's. Uh, I like the atmosphere. Some of the stuff it did was cool, but uh, once I realized that uh, I can pick stuff up and throw things, uh, I kind of realized that there isn't really going to be any danger. Which, you know, proved to be the case. Because if you throw something at uh, something that's coming to get you, there is a, a risk that stuff is going to break. But, uh, yeah, you know what, it, it was okay. It honestly just reminded me that, uh, hey, Visage was really good. Anybody wants a goddamn spooky experience, go play Visage. It also took us, what, double the time? Fucking, how long to beat told me this would take, like, 50 minutes? 50 minutes to an hour? We, we, we doubled that, because I was just wandering around like a fucking putz. So, you know, it, it kind of worked out. Kind of worked out. We don't got to play anything else tonight. Which works out, because I'm a... I'm a sleepy boy. I'm a, I'm a sleepy boy, so let's just... Let's fucking turn that off. Jesus Christ. So... If I can find my phone. See, that's the problem with me uh, playing in the dark. So I can't fucking see anything. Here it is. Uh, so, since we finished that, uh, the next game we'll be playing is called Welcome to Hanwell, which is also another game that I've owned for a while, don't know anything about, but this one apparently takes like 12, 14 hours to beat. Not 12, hold on, actually I'll just look it up now. How long to beat? Welcome... To and well, roughly okay. So four hours. That's not so bad, though it did take us fucking two hours to beat. Uh, Don't knock twice. So 
I don't know if we'll beat it tomorrow. Doesn't really matter if we don't. We're just there for the spooks. So uh, that's basically what we're going to be playing then. Yeah, I don't think I have really anything else to say. So uh, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. And uh, look forward to some more screamies. Today? Tomorrow? One of the two. That's fine. All right, so we'll see everybody next time for more spooks.